Um, one question that came up uh, from from somebody there on Twitter, actually, I'm trying to get my Twitter sure. going and growing. Is 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 that how it, does one get council and the city staff? rowing in the same direction if everybody's not on the same page and there's a bit of finger pointing that always goes on uh you know delays on the staff side all oh, council can't make up their minds and, and then the bill 109 transferring some more responsibility to the, the staff and, and bypassing the council a little bit if everybody isn't getting along how do you take a dysfunctional you know um council and align them with a, a staff that watches councils come and go and get stuff done? Well, Mitch, that's a very good question. Um, I must say uh, that my time as um, Minister of Agriculture, Food, and Prov in the province of Ontario, uh, I worked with exceptional men and women in the Ontario Public Service. Um, my deputy, uh, Dr. Deb Stark, who I still chat with uh, from time to time, um, certainly worked with me very closely. We identified the priorities uh, from a public policy perspective of the, of the government over the day. And Deb Stark, in her role, made sure that the, the great men and women that I got to work with carried out these priorities in an expeditious manner. And one of the things I learned from being a, a cabinet minister, and, and, and that ministry that I led, Agriculture, Food and Rural Affairs, was small enough, billion dollar budget, 900 employees, that we could set goals and to make sure that we have everybody driving to achieve those goals. Mm -hmm. uh, I talked a, a little bit about uh, Fair Life, but we also had uh, two other major developments at the same time. Within an 18 month period, mm -hmm. uh, we put together three packages that led at Fee High in Kingston, Ontario, uh, which is a baby formula uh, mm -hmm. manufacturer based on uh, uh, Chinese investment that goes back to my time as part of my trade mission in China. Uh, we worked very closely with uh, Michael McCain, the Maple Leaf Foods mm -hmm. in London, Ontario, and, and Fair Life uh, uh, here in Peterborough. But what we did is we knew we had a, a calendar. Uh, we had an 18-month calendar. So we were continuously focusing on goals that we needed to achieve. Mm -hmm. And that's the job of political leadership. Mm -hmm. The political leadership um, sets those goals, and then the, the civil service, the staff, must embrace those goals and make sure they get carried out in a timely fashion. Okay, no, I like the goal setting. So that's the, the, the to distill the points there, you know, setting goals and trying to stay accountable, I suppose, or being uh, vocal or verbal yeah. about what the goals are and to the public. Um, and and then, Mitch, the other thing, if I could just add, you know, I think it might be helpful. I mean, we, uh, we appoint chairs uh, of various portfolio city councillors. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd like to see these councillors in the, the role, the chair that they have, I really have mandate letters. Mm -hmm. What is expected of them? Then, then the public could go on the City of Peterborough website and say the Chair of Social Services is responsible for these items A to Z. Mm -hmm. Are they being carried out? Particularly in housing, mm -hmm. the Chair of Housing, if you're setting goals, you put a public mandate letter, these are the goals we want to achieve, and you can start following that uh, to make sure they're, that's being carried out. Mm -hmm. Adds mm -hmm. to transparency. Yeah, and so I guess the last, if, if, if it gets dysfunctional where you have uh, um, counselors that have, I would say, extremely different visions or perspectives on the world or, or different visions for how things should go going forward and, and you get into gridlock, um, how does one overcome that? Well, I, I think you uh, treat everybody in a very respectful manner. And, you know, you'd be surprised uh, uh, people that come from uh, different uh, political visions uh, if you sit down and listen and respect it, you'd be surprised how quickly you can get to the to the middle in an in a honorable compromise pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. So you believe you've got the the, the special I, sauce to bring <laughs> everyone together. I, I've yeah. been in that mix. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, uh, you know, I think it's, uh, uh, it's, it's very much achievable. And, uh, you know, if, if all members of council feel they're engaged and respected, um, sure, there will be votes where one person is one, not one person the other. But I think the key is to make sure that they feel in themselves that they had the opportunity to express their mm -hmm. opinion, it's been listened to, mm -hmm. and that becomes part of the decision equation.